Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Bible Illustrated Hands. Hands. You know, uh, out of all the inputs I receive on semi-regular basis, one of the most common is that you guys like my rants the most. And I get you. I like intellectual trash food as well. You're not to blame. It is who you are. It is who I am. We all like to indulge ourselves in low quality, low effort, high octane nonsense. That is one of the reasons I stopped uploading rants. However, I do have a rant that is only in part related to spiritual life, practically not at all. So I thought that this rant will be relatively harmless. So I'm going to talk to you about, well, sort of scammy behavior that I was exposed to. At the very least, it is the utmost pinnacle of complete lack of professionalism. So, uh, when I started Bible Illustrated channel, and even before that, uh, when I started Bible Illustrated in general, people have been asking me whether I will sell merch. More specifically, whether, uh, will, uh, whether will I sell the collections of my drawings, like the entire Bible books or whatever. I never really wanted to do that because it looks like a hassle. <laughs> However, I did uh, consider like making mugs, t-shirts and other things people like to waste their money on, even though they already have a perfectly good shirt and a perfectly working mug. So I decided to hear the pleas of my adoring audience and actually make some merch. However, being a lazy person that I was, I didn't make merch per se. I decided to sell my original drawings that I thought that were, you know, sell-worthy. So I went to Etsy and wanted to create my shop, but out of five countries where Etsy uh, conducts its business, guess which country isn't on that five-country list? You're right, Serbia. So why Serbia isn't on the list? Because uh, because Etsy does not, uh, because here in Serbia, something called Etsy payments aren't allowed. And because of these Etsy payments, I had to take my business elsewhere. So I did what every uh, smart person would do. I googled sites similar to Etsy. And voila, I heard of Artfire. It was perfect, it worked in Serbia, and it didn't require Etsy payments. Of course, you're going to... <laughs> uh, if you didn't hear about Artfire, that's perfectly fine. Nobody did. I didn't, you know. So, but, you know, it didn't really matter because I would be selling merch to my audience. I did not need people to, you know, stumble upon my shop, which of course would be very much welcome, but not really <laughs> not really uh, an option. So I started uh, posting items on uh, on Artfire. By posting items, I meant three. <laughs> I posted my first embroidery, which I quickly removed because <laughs> I was ashamed of its quality a watercolor and a hand-painted icon of St. Thomas the Apostle, which I actually really liked and I think it is one of the best things I ever made, even though it's underwhelming. But my respected buyer, shout out to Patrick, uh, disagreed and he was kind, of, uh, kind enough to buy it. So, uh, why was I so slow in posting items on, uh, uh, on Artfire? Uh, well, despite the fact that I'm a lazy person, uh, the major issue was that uploading process was obnoxious. Uh, despite having to put all of the general data you have to put on an art object like um, size, weight, medium, girth, taste and everything, uh, I had to put individual shipment for every country. 
you know. Uh, I mean, in every country where you plan to ship, <laughs> you know. Uh, of course, um, I had to give preference to, con to countries where my uh, audience is predominantly found, but I mean, how do you know that you won't get a message from, I don't know, Vatican and, uh, hey, that's a nice icon, uh, can I buy it? And uh, you're like, how on earth was I supposed to know that out of five people who live in Vatican, somebody will want to buy my icon? So, sorry PF, I do not yet ship to Vatican. So, I started to upload and when I started to upload the embroidery, <laughs> I click, uh, by the way, Artfire is a subscription-based web shop. That means that on a, a, every month, like a clockwork, they would take 10 of my dollars for giving me, uh, for giving me uh, the opportunity, no, the honor of hosting my items on their shop. Whatever, I, didn't, I don't sell on Etsy or other shops, so I don't know if this is a typical practice, but it, it is what it is. Uh, I have decided to sacrifice those 10 euros to the golden calf or whatever, or dollars. So, okay. So, I post that embroidery and immediately get a notification that, I know, five dollars or something were deducted from my account and I'm like, raise eyebrow. So, I go... <laughs> so, what happened? If you guys don't know what dark patterns are, I highly suggest you research the concept because it is incredibly fun and you will actually have a term to actually use when you encounter them. Dark patterns are actively malicious uh, design choices made to make life more difficult for the user. Uh, a good example of, I don't know, dark pattern would be trying to, uh, to delete your Amazon account. It's very difficult. You literally need a red ball of yarn to navigate your way to finding that specific place on the Amazon website in order to delete, uh, to delete uh, your account. So, uh, there is a site also, I think it's uh, darkpatterns.com, uh, that lists some of these more common. It's very entertaining and it's a relatively short read. You know, do check it out. So what happened here? There were two buttons, like publish, which was like white, incons incons inconspicuous, and a second green, larger, that was like uh, publish and with a small like font underneath and promote, which meant that uh, my icon uh, of St. Thomas would find its way to the front page of Artfire, the world's biggest art web shop. The person who bought it eventually clearly, you know, didn't find it on the front page. He's a patron, <laughs> he knew I was selling it. So that was money uh, not well spent, but, uh, but at least it's not Etsy payments and and um, <laughs> I learned my lesson. So the next time I posted, I decided to I decided uh, to pay more attention what buttons I'm clicking, which I know is naive, but sometimes you just need to have a trust in a side that they won't deduct anything by use of dark patterns. So I put the icon and I get very lazy because of all those shipment details that they have to uh, post. So uh, I, uh, I upload all those items and soon enough I sell the icon and I'm like, woo, -woo nice. Now uh, I sold the icon near the end of December. And, uh, you know, Christmas is fast approaching, New Year's, tons of stuff. Uh, so I delegate the sending of the icon to my father. He does his job very well. He sends the icon. Hurrah! However, there was an issue that happened. Because the split second I sold the icon, my PayPal account, which was connected to Artfire, immediately got blocked. I have a, sus uh, a suspicion that... PayPal, uh, PayPal isn't really a fan of Artfire because of all the scams, because 
uh, Artfire really didn't have much of a grade on review websites. I wonder why. So they needed me to upload like four documents uh, in order for me to get my account back. And I barely use PayPal, uh, PayPal. So I was like, you know, I'm going to do this after Christmas, meaning Christmas here in Serbia, meaning after January the 7th. So, <laughs> and I'm getting to the best part. <laughs> so uh, I need to upload four documents. One was my personal ID card. I upload that. Uh, proof of shipment. I upload that. A description of the sold product. I do that. And the best part, invoice from the seller. Guys, this is literally what happened. I go to Artfire. And it sends me on this landing page that goes, Artfire was a website that... Okay, so no, no, no. The, I open my bookmarks again. I click on my account. Again, landing page. Artfire again, again. And I'm like, the website is gone. They deleted it. There's no website. Only that landing page that you can see if you go to artfire.com.hell. They deleted the site without notifying the users. Can you imagine that? Like, I, I mean, I I had I could have had invoices on that website for some reason, and thank God, uh, PayPal accepted my screenshot of an email of a sale. I, I don't know why they did that. I mean, it's very nice. It's actually very nice when a company does something you're really sure they won't do, but they do it regardless and. You know, God bless them for that. But as for art fire, hellfire, dark fire, like I'm shocked to this day. I mean, it's like five days, but still, you know, as far as I'm concerned, art fire can go to Etsy payments. Bye. <laughs>